Phil, when you got over here, I think you, you were saying how much you, you struggled a little bit in two strike counts um, with the Indians. Kind of, what have you changed, if anything, here? Has it been pitch usage? Has it been pitch shape? What do you think has kind of worked since you've gotten here? It's kind of been a little bit of a both. Of, uh, you know, when I got traded over here, kind of scrapped the way I threw my slider in Cleveland and um, kind of overhauled it and kind of took about a week or two to kind of get that dialed in, kind of change it more into a, like a sweeper instead of a more traditional slider. Um, and then just having another weapon in two strike counts, uh, that honestly helped me out quite a bit. And just kind of having a little bit better of a game plan on kind of how to finish guys. And, uh, and a lot of it, too, has just been trusting Maldi behind the plate. And that's, that's helped me out quite a bit. We'll go all the way to the back. Phil, uh, just want to get your thoughts on, in general terms on the importance of fan support. Uh, there is a small contingent of fans from Houston traveling or have traveled. Uh, but of course, there's a whole bunch, obviously, in Houston who are you know, giving you guys their support. So just your thoughts in general terms, please. Uh, I mean, after getting traded over here, kind of uh, any support on the road is really nice, honestly. Uh, I got my first taste when we were in San Francisco and LA and uh, pretty hostile environments. So uh, we'll take anything we can get because it's, uh, it's much appreciated. I'll go to Jake on the third row on your right, Phil. They, they've used you a lot against left-handed hitters here. Um, is that something you were used to? With you because of your curveball, and that some, is that how the Indians use you as well, or is that something you've kind of had to get used to here? Uh, a little bit, uh, kind of the way my fastball profiles with a little bit of cut, um, and honestly too, it's just kind of a comfort factor. I, I don't really mind who I face. Uh, with lefties, I feel like I have a lot of room to work. You know, having that whole arm side miss area where I don't have to worry about hitting guys, so it's like I can rip off my best pitches and not really have to worry about hitting them with, especially fastballs. So uh, and mostly comfort, but I think just kind of the profile of my pitches help out a little bit, but. Uh, I don't know. I mean, ultimately, I think anybody can get lefties out. It's just kind of a, a comfort thing, and that's something I've always embraced. Uh, the back left, John. Thanks, Phil. Uh, if you could share with us, what was it like growing up in the Mayton household there in Chatham, Illinois, with brothers who also loved the game as much as you did? Uh, we were definitely busy in the summer. Um, you know, Nick's with the Phillies and uh, Jacob in, uh, at Coastal right now, and then my brother ran. So, uh, you know, if it wasn't baseball, we had track meets, you know, uh, basketball, soccer. Um, just busy. I mean, you know, always had someone to play catch with, always had someone to play with. So uh, it was it was really exciting, and I don't know, wouldn't trade it for anything. Uh, on your fourth row on your left, Brian. <clears throat> Phil, since you've been in, in the majors and since 17, it, it, it's been a thing where you get to the playoffs and the bullpen becomes more and more important. I'm just wondering from your perspective, you're entering three games here, and, you know, Atlanta's acknowledged publicly that they're, you know, kind of playing everything. Uh, by year, you guys, you know, you have your starter today, but this bullpen's going to be huge. What's that like when you're in that situation, knowing that, you know, it's it's almost a free for all, and and the the, the better team really will win e each day. Uh, it's really tricky because I mean, kind of my role and a few of the other guys is we're we're trying to bridge it to our seven, eight, nine guys. So it's um, really trying to take pride in kind of winning that second third of the game, kind of bridging it from the starter to our to our back end guys. So. Um, just kind of looking at the matchups and then just trying to piece together the game from there. It's I think it's definitely kind of the challenge for the managers. And um, you know, so far Dusty's done a great job of kind of putting us in situations to succeed. So um, I know, right now we're just trying to keep that going and uh, you know win a few more games. A little bit further back on your right. Um, uh, each bullpen has logged more postseason innings than its starting staff. Do you guys kind of and it's especially notable for for your for your team? Do you feel? That uh, this this series could be decided by the, the the stronger and deeper bullpen. I think it definitely could be. I mean, and, and also just kind of going back on the ALCS, like how we had two huge starts to finish that series against the Red Sox. So um, you know, I wouldn't count any of the starters out on both teams. You know, they're extremely talented staffs. So um, I don't know. The big thing for us is just kind of continuing to do our job and just bridge it to our back end guys, and um, you know, just keep handing the ball to the next guy with the zero. In the second row on your right, Greg. Maybe a, maybe a follow up to, to that kind of thing. Jake talked with us uh, with a tremendous amount of pride about the role that that all of you have taken. No one's at one hundred percent. No one exactly knows when their name's going to be called. How is that kind of built on itself? And how much pride do you take in that? Just grabbing the ba the baseball and delivering for your team uh, in whatever role is asked. Yeah, definitely. I mean, in the regular season, you know, those middle innings aren't exactly the sexiest thing. But uh, in the playoffs, ultimately, the only thing that matters is winning. And um, you know, if the starter goes two innings, four innings, eight, you know, ultimately. Some of those innings need to be, you know, they need to be filled, and you know, they need big zeros. And with our offense, if we can put zeros up and keep them close, like we always have a chance to win games. Uh, Mark in the first row. 
Hey, Phil, what has it been like for you and your teammates in the, in the bullpen to get the kind of notoriety you're getting uh, at this stage of the way you all been successful back there? Can you repeat that? I'm sorry. Yeah, what has it been like for you and your teammates in the bullpen to get the kind of notoriety you guys have gotten with the success you all had uh, in the postseason? Uh, I mean... I mean, ultimately, the only thing that matters is winning ball games. So, I mean, you know, the, the attention's great. And um, I don't know. Ultimately, you know, there's, there's only one goal at the end of the line, and that's a World Series. So, um, however we do, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter who we use. It's uh, the only thing that matters is winning ball games. Chandler in the fourth row. Phil, your, your nickname on baseball reference is Spin Rate. Does anyone actually call you that? <laughs> no, no. It was, a, it was kind of a joke. My I think it was my rookie year where we had to put – that was the first year MLB did the um, – the players weekend so I had to do something and uh, one of my teammates was you know I'm obviously being quiet just being you know standard rookie hiding in the corner of the clubhouse just trying to make the team and uh, someone just put it in for me so because that was kind of the gimmick back then was spin rate was starting to show up and it was starting to become a bigger thing in analytics so that was my my gimmick so that's what they did uh, I don't know that's a great question I have no idea <laughs> With further back on your left, Tyler. Phil, you've worn number 88, all three teams. Any reason behind that? Uh, that was the number I was given in my first big league spring training. And it's just kind of a, I don't know, it was a 20th rounder. Wasn't Didn't get a lot of attention. So I uh, feel like the number kind of fits me. You know, corner of the locker room, you know, the prospects get all the good numbers. So uh, I don't know, kind of like the underdog thing with being 88. It's not a you know, sexy number. So I don't know. I like it. Uh, further back on your right, Ryan. Yeah, Phil, you, when you came over, you came over with other relievers, right? People looked at this Astros team and said, okay, well, this is an area of need. What was it like to come in kind of as part of this reinforcement group that kind of solidified what, what Houston was then and kind of how rewarding it is to be part of the team now in the World Series? Yeah, no, extremely rewarding. But uh, initially it was, it was kind of challenging just trying to figure out when we were going to throw. And I, it was definitely probably challenging for Dusty too. But uh, just a lot of pressure to kind of just prove our worth. And it's like, you know, we just wanted to kind of be pieces that would really, you know, drive us home and, you know, ultimately take us to that next, next step and uh, help us win the World Series. Uh, one row behind, Marley. Phil, who are your pitching heroes? Who do you love? Who do you love to watch? And, and who has really influenced your style? That's a really good question. Um, I don't know if I really have any necessarily like pitching heroes. Um, feel like I've kind of just kind of gone from one thing to another, trying to figure out kind of myself in the big leagues, and that's kind of been the biggest challenge. Um, throw pretty different from a lot of guys, so I don't know. I've just kind of been really trying to find myself, not necessarily kind of following anybody and how they do their thing. Uh, Steve in the fifth row. Oh, got uh, Claudia. We'll get you the mic. I feel when the Atlanta lineup gets hot, they can score a lot of runs. Uh, what is the general attitude in the Astros bullpen about the Braves? Uh, yeah, extremely talented lineup, and especially the top two guys are you know incredibly difficult to get out. I was lucky enough to play with Eddie for the first half in Cleveland, and uh, and I also faced him in previous years and with the Twins, and he's uh, he can be very pesky at times and very difficult to get out. So. Uh, I don't know. The kind of the big thing with us is, and at least with me too, is I, I try to eliminate as much slug as possible and make them single us to death. You know, try to eliminate free bases with the walks. But uh, you know, if we can take the slug out of their bat and you know let them score only one at one at a time, I mean, ultimately that's going to keep us in ball games. So um, it, it's just I don't know. It's very tough to do. It's an extremely talented lineup. So um, we just I don't know. Need to try to keep putting up zeros.